Welcome to Cypress Creek Adventures. Hey there. Welcome to another episode. This week we're going to look at some different things here around my little homestead. And I wanted to share the my beaver that's been coming here for about three years. And watched him summer and all around. When we first came here he was kind of small. I say it's a, a him because if it had been female had probably been bred already and had a mate and there's never never been but just this one beaver so but he's pretty big now he's about 40 pounds I would think and uh, so we'll show you what he's been up to and lost one of my bluebird houses so we'll make a couple new bluebird houses in this episode and replace the ones that were damaged okay this is where the beaver's been coming in and out and and you can see it comes up this bank and comes and gets these branches and, and they eat the, the the sweet bark off these uh, twigs. And here you can see it leaves a trail. Now he goes up here to this bush right here, and we'll get a little closer look at what the what he does up here. So this bush here is about 10 feet tall when I first came here. And every year he comes and he cuts us all down, hauls it away. He's been feeding on this. And, and you see here where he's been in here and clipped these off. And you can see in the middle here the older stump. Well, that was the original part. And it just keeps coming back and uh, regrows every year. So this is another bush right here. You can see he cut this piece off. And this was the same way, it was about 10 feet. And every year he comes and gets some, pairs it down. I'm here now on the other side of my place and the beaver's been around on this side too and he's been eating on this same, same tree, or kind of tree. And he's cut this one down. This is first time he's cut this one down. This is what he does. And he, comes up here and scrapes that bark off and, and that's what he's after is that sweet bark. So I've had this tree that was knocked over with all the water. We had some high, pretty big rains and high water. And it's been dead for a year or two, but I've always had this bluebird box on it. And uh, I think it's some kind of dogwood or it's pretty dense wood. But it's still connected to the ground. So we're going to take this and remove it out. And then uh, we're going to replace the bluebird box and we'll make a new one for that. So as you can see, the beaver came here and this is cedar. And apparently didn't like the taste of the cedar, but he did some pretty good damage to it just laying here. And I don't know how long it's been, but I, I noticed the other day that this part here on the top was, you know, eaten. But then here this morning, I see he's been down here and tried another little taste, but it must not suit him because he didn't take any more. All right, here's one of my other bluebird boxes, and I've had pretty good success since I've been here. This is my eighth winter, and I've had bluebirds all summer, and they've had at least three broods that I know of, and I've had three of these boxes, and one of them got damaged last year, and, and then we showed you just the other one a few minutes ago. But uh, so we'll make some new ones and get them up for spring. Okay, so out here to the outdoor workspace, we've been doing a lot, I do all my projects. And, and so this is the things that we need according to what I measured up there on the, the birdhouse that we just saw. So we'll cut out all these pieces and we'll make enough to make two, two birdhouses and uh, replace the one that that the beavers worked on and then the one that got damaged last year we'll put another one back up on the other side of my property so yesterday the my neighbor came over and he needed to use my table saw for a little bit so i jumped in real quick and and uh ripped out these for the for the width uh these will be the the sides the sides and the back and the front and then uh also i i ripped out the bottoms and also the roof pieces so we'll get the rest of these uh, cut to the right length according to our 
scheme here on the uh, you know the uh, plan and then we'll be back ready for assembly all right so we got the circular saw out here and we'll make our last two cuts i just wanted to show you how i did that so we'll make these cuts now That makes our two side pieces, and then this is just scrap. Okay, so I got this started. Put the the back on. This will be the the you know, of course the front, and so we'll get ready to put this the other side on here. Actually, we need to put this piece on. This is the piece. So we'll put this on. And pouch here, I have a whole bunch of finish nails in this red pouch used for my, for my work. We're doing these bird houses kind of a little rough, but uh, could spend a lot of time, you know, beveling edges and all that, but uh, they, these will last for a long time and they don't have to be real fancy. Depends on, you know, how much time you want to spend on them. So what we have now, we have this, have our basic birdhouse, and then we'll we'll put this. This will be our front and our door, and we'll make it so that it'll open, so you can clean it out. We'll put a drill hole in here, and I'll put a screw in so that this this works loose, and then put a little uh, latch up on the on the top. So we'll go ahead and put the bottom on and the top, and then we'll have to drill a hole here. And we'll use a, a spade bit, inch and a half. That's what uh, the other bird houses are for, for uh, bluebirds. All right, so I got the bottom positioned in here. And I'll just let this, uh, the other front piece to sit here to, to hold this up until we can get a couple tacks in here and, and get this nailed down. And then this flush here. Now we can take this out and we'll square this up a little bit. And it's around here so you can see. And then we'll take and uh, just put a couple nails in here. Line this up. And that's about where we want to be. And do the other side. Looks like we're doing all right here. So there we are. We got this, and then the, then we'll put our door in here. I might have to shave this just a little bit to get it to fit better, but uh. According to the other one, we have to hold this down about a half inch here, and then the hole will be two and a half inches uh, to here. And then the, for whatever reason, they have this so that, I guess so it protects the back, I don't know. But uh, anyway, that, that's how they had the other one. And, and like I said, we'll drill this, make this so this hinges. This is our front, and uh, this is, uh, I trimmed it back just a little bit so that it would fit looser. And so that now I've located where the uh, where the hole needs to be, and we've got a inch and a half spade bit here. So we'll, I got a piece of scrap under here, so I'll drill into my bench top. this and that closes like that and that's basically what we got so next step is to mount our door on here drill a little hole here and we do this side 
And this will be for our, uh, making our hinge. <laughs> Alright, so now we're ready to switch this on and we'll put a couple screws in here and we'll see how it fits. So we have the same sheetrock screws that uh, seem like I use for everything. Uh, so what it does is, is see this, this screw is going to just float in the hole but it will be into the, to the front piece here. So we'll put this up here. I've got it kind of marked about where it needs to be. So we'll go right here, get this lined up so it's flush. And flip it over and do the other side. It seems to, to fit in there pretty good. And we get this side and we just snug that up. Okay, so there we have our birdhouse, and we just need to go down there to the one where the beaver had destroyed and, and maybe steal that little latch off on this one, and then the, the last birdhouse, when I make it, I'll have to make up my own little latch. But that's, this needs to be cleaned out every year, and I'll put a picture up there of the nest that I took out of the one down below. So we'll go down there and uh, and hold this up with the other one and we'll see how they look. All right, so we're down here at the at the birdhouse that's on the tree. And we'll put these back up here to kind of compare the two. I think we're pretty close. So we'll take this up and we'll take and put this, this little latch piece right here. I've got uh, off of the other birdhouse and we'll stick that on and then we'll just about be done. I brought the old one up here and you can see the beaver did some extensive damage on it. Might be salvageable, have full with it a little bit, but there's our replacement right next to it. And needs I sanded it off a little bit, put a couple coats of polyurethane on it when it warms up. It's about 29 today and you know I don't have a place inside so it's gotta be a little warmer to put that on. I want to make it up early so that it, uh, get a little age on it before we put it up on the tree. And uh, I'll make up the other one that's just like it and, and we'll put those up and be ready for spring. So this one has done quite a bit of service and it has the old nest still in it. But the beaver really worked on it. And, well, thanks for watching. It's made up a couple of simple bluebird houses and, and replaced the ones that have been damaged. And, uh, glad to uh, share my beaver with you and what he's been up to. I've only seen him two or three times during the day. He usually comes at night. So I look forward to bringing you another episode next week. Please subscribe to my channel and help it to grow and, and hit that subscribe bell. And you'll get notified when, when I have a new episode that comes up. So we thank you. Please take care. And God bless.